What's up, Barbie family? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing my Dollar Tree must-have items. These are items that Dollar Tree recently got in that I highly recommend checking out if you're able to find them at your local Dollar Tree because I know how it is. This Dollar Tree will have all the items and then like 50 other Dollar Trees near you have nothing in. The lighting in this video is a bit different because I'm filming at night with my ring light. This is a ring light that I barely ever use anymore. It still has like face paint all over it for my makeup channel, but I don't use it anymore because I like to use natural lighting for this channel. But having Cooper, it really limits the time I can film. And since he is currently out with his dad, it's nighttime. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to film. The first item that you should really keep your eyes open for that's new to Dollar Tree is the Crafter Square Vinyl Paper. Now, I actually tried this out before I put this in this video because I was very iffy about it. I know how Dollar Tree can be sometimes. Uh, sometimes you run into really good quality items, but there's items that they're worth it, but there's a little bit of, like things that are kind of off with it. So if you're very, very picky about vinyl, you're probably not going to like these. Now, what I did is I ended up trying them out and the issue I ran into was using a standard grip mat with my Cricut. What ended up happening is the paper backing on top of this got stuck to the mat and I had a couple of you guys tell me because I uploaded it on Instagram I had a couple of you guys tell me that it's the type of mat um, that the paper studio mats from um, Hobby Lobby don't work well and that happens to them but I've never really ran into that issue with Cricut paper I'm willing to bet it's the type of paper that is on the back of this just knowing the way Dollar Tree um, barcodes are how they're really hard to get off or the paper that things come with is very flimsy I feel like that really is the reason why it ended up sticking to the standard grip mat I then decided to use the vinyl paper on a light grip mat and I did not experience the paper sticking to the light grip mat like I did with the standard paper I ended up cutting a good amount of words numbers and designs on these uh, crafter square papers and for the most part it was good there was times where I experienced some lifting off of like some of the letters and then one time one of the numbers ended up like moving off of the vinyl paper while it was cutting I was still able to use that number I'm actually making some Sesame Street characters for my son's first birthday party and these come in handy because I know at the end of the day I'm not really gonna reuse what I'm making and I can end up selling it later on on Facebook I could end up saving it but I don't really know for sure where I'm gonna put the Elmo's and stuff like that unless one day he wants his bedroom to change into that I just don't see it really happening I feel like more than likely I'm gonna gift it to someone or probably sell it so these come in handy because it's like a dollar blue for cookie monster uh, red for Elmo and then you need some other colors but I did Elmo and I actually have them right over here and I'm stuffy <laughs> Speaking of, I'm stepping on a Tickle Me Elmo, but I was able to make Elmo for $3, and then the foam board that it's on is from Dollar Tree, too. So for $4, I made this little Elmo, and I'm going to be doing a bigger Elmo. So I do recommend it for more, like, just crafts that you don't expect to last like a very very long time that's the best way to put it because if you're going to be putting it on glass i feel like it's going to fall um if it's like on a mug but maybe it'll work on a glass image if you're just trying to make like a picture that's going to go up on the wall it's just it's it's kind of hit and miss and if you're very picky about vinyl then i don't recommend it at all but if you're somebody like me who enjoys to craft you make some things like this decorations that maybe they won't last for the longest time i do recommend it and i think for a dollar that is an amazing steel. With this collection they also have tools you can use for your Cricut. So they have a craft picker you can use for weeding, a craft scraper, and a craft spatula. The only one I haven't used out of these three yet is the spatula. The craft picker I love. I actually went out and I got more of them because I misplaced my Cricut one all the time. Out of this collection however there is one thing that I do not recommend. It is the transfer tape. The transfer tape picks up the vinyl too quickly. So if you make a mistake when you're placing the transfer paper down, you're kind of screwed. It's it's like if you try to peel the vinyl off and fix it, you're going to rip the vinyl. It's a big, big mess. And then when you take the transfer paper and you place it down on whatever it is you're putting it down on, it's really hard to get the vinyl to come off of the transfer paper. I wasn't a fan of it. I'd rather use other transfer paper rather than just 
destroying my vinyl constantly. If you have tried this stuff out, leave, please leave your reviews down in the comments below so other people can see different opinions. This next item from Dollar Tree they recently got in, I couldn't believe it. It is a wall shelf. It has a faux wood look to it. It is not real wood. It comes with a little rope and that's the way you hang it onto the wall. Now what you could do instead if you're not a big fan of using rope to hang it up on your wall, you can get the shelf brackets and just place that on top of the shelf brackets. Dollar Tree does carry shelf brackets sometimes and you can find inexpensive ones at the hardware store. This is another item I was very surprised to see at Dollar Tree. It is these wire circles that are used to hold pictures. Now what I recommend doing is getting some floral from Dollar Tree and putting it at the bottom so it kind of looks like a wreath. They have them in black and in white. For a dollar I really recommend them. I love putting pictures all around the house especially since having Cooper and so these are going to come in super handy. Next up, if you haven't already, check out Dollar Tree's sticker section. They have expanded it. They have gotten so many new stickers in that are so cool. You'll be thinking like, they have this for a dollar? I don't know if you guys have been to Michael's, how expensive their stickers are, even when they're on sale. Uh, Hobby Lobby, I mean, you can find stickers, but it's hard to find ones for a dollar unless it's one that's like smaller like letters or something like that but they have expanded their sticker section so many cool stickers and there's stickers there that I'm so surprised are a dollar for instance these gemstone stickers when I go to Hobby Lobby and I buy these the cheapest maybe I could get them for is like 250 and then Michaels it always costs more than that I'm not a fan of going to Michaels or even Joanne Fabrics for my stickers they got these zigzag jewel border stickers in that I feel are so perfect for like a glam look they have them in so many different colors and my personal favorites are the chalkboard stickers they recently got in they're great for labeling things whether it's in your kitchen in your closet I love these stickers so much and they even have a craft paper one where it's the same type of labels but with craft paper versus chalkboard stickers next up Dollar Tree balloons. They're getting so many different designs in. My favorites are the foil balloons. Those balloons, you try to go to the grocery store and get them, you will never ever pay a dollar for them. I actually used some last year for my gender reveal. I did a um, boy or, or girl sign and I used the Dollar Tree balloons. Like I said, I'm starting to plan for my son's first birthday party. They have the foil balloons with the numbers, every single number that you can think of. And this is a one. So I'm actually going to do it on camera right now. I'm somebody who has asthma, really, really bad lungs, and I can even blow this up, you guys. Like, my lungs are poop. There you go. And then you take it out, and it's not going to um, come out the air. It's not like a latex balloon or something like that where if you don't tie it at the bottom, it's just going to blow away. No, it stays like this, and it stays like this for a while. I had the boy and girl one done for two weeks before I actually used it during my gender reveal. They got these confetti balloons. They are so beautiful. These ones are so pretty. And they have ones where the design on it looks like the confetti, but the confetti isn't loose. So I highly recommend checking out Dollar Tree if you're having any type of event during um, summertime that you need balloons for outside. I mean, even during the winter, but right now they have really fun balloons for summertime. Near the balloons, they do have yardsticks. The yardsticks you place the balloon on top of and you can put that directly inside of the ground or you can put them inside of a vase or something. And that's what I did for my gender reveal. I blew the balloons myself just using an air pump that I got from Amazon. It wasn't helium, it's just regular air. And I was able to do some really cute decorations using the air pump and Dollar Tree balloons and the little stakes that you can get. Dollar Tree has always a stepping it up in the dinnerware department. I was able to find these beautiful soup bowls. They come in a pretty dusty pink color, navy, and I did see a gray one. I love the way that they look. They do kind of remind me of like the Campbell soup bowls inside of the commercials. I don't know if you guys remember the old commercial where the kid comes in and he's a snowman and then he eats the soup and then he turns into a kid. If you do, let me know down in the comments below, but I remember seeing that one all the time when I was young and getting really creeped out by the snowman. A section you don't want to pass it on is the floral section of Dollar Tree because they recently got in these really pretty greenery uh, bouquets and that's what they're called but it's like different types of leaves and these leaves are so nice if you like boho decor if you can get one of those really pretty glasses or use a Dollar Tree glass to add like that really pretty texture to it 
using I think it's baking soda or baking powder people use with paint it looks so nice and I feel like these greenery items will look so nice in something like that I bought a few of them to go in my basement because I've actually done a boho look down there I recently uploaded a basement makeover video if you're interested and I have a bathroom down there now where I had a lot of greenery like this so I'm going to be using this on some of the vases that I have downstairs what's great each one is a buck you plop it inside of a vase and you're good to go I highly recommend checking this section out and don't just pass over it and think oh it's just some green stuff like look into it there's so many different ones to choose from another section you do not want to skip over is the Mother's Day section they are getting in a bunch of items for Mother's Day and something that I see near there are these wicker type of baskets now, I don't know if they belong in the Mother's Day section and they're more so near the garden section, but at the Dollar Trees I went to, they were all in the Mother's Day section. They do have them in different colors like pink and green. I decided to go with the more natural color one. And I feel like these are perfect to use all over the house, whether you want to organize with them or you want to use them as a decor piece. If you want to use them like for something to put your keys inside of, there's plenty of different things you can use these for, even to just use as a basket to put some Mother's Day gifts in. Near all the Mother's Day stuff, you are going to find these beautiful trinket boxes. And these are like my favorite trinket boxes that Dollar Tree has gotten in. So I got these in particular to use inside of the basement. I feel like these are perfect to store things inside of your bathroom like cotton pads, cotton balls, some q-tips. Uh, you can probably even store like single eyeshadows inside of there if you got single shadows inside of um, little packaging. You can do so many things with these, but I got these in particular to use inside of the bathroom and I feel like each one is well worth the dollar. I'm going to take my Cricut, put some labeling on here, and then put them directly inside of my bathroom. This next item Dollar Tree has had in already, but it is something that flew off of the shelf. I feel like it's one of their more popular items that they've gotten in period it is the little like milk canisters they brought them back it's the exact same designs they got the chicken or brewster or whatever it was um the pink one i forget the sayings on them i got another one of the mint colors this one says local and fresh they are so beautiful they're perfect for a tear tray that's my favorite place to put them in or filler um, inside of your home if you're into the farmhouse look because you know i don't know how well something like this works with other type of decor but I'm sure people can make it work like if you like the boho decor look and you know who Justin Ray is you know he can take this and make it work for boho decor but these things are beautiful and some of the best decor pieces I've ever seen Dollar Tree carry when you go to Dollar Tree do not go past the frame section they are getting some beautiful frames in Dollar Tree picture frames can be flimsy okay I'm not gonna lie they can be flimsy but you know be gentle with them when you put your picture inside place them and you're good. I actually got this beautiful gold and black one and another gold one in recently and I love the way that they look. I placed them near some Hobby Lobby picture frames that I paid more for and these look just as good if not better than the ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. Keep your eyes open. They also got this beautiful home one recently and I got three of them and I actually plan on using my Cricut to put some warning on them and then put pictures of my family inside of them. If you love miniature Dollar Tree recently got beach themed miniatures in they have seashells a cute little vehicle that is this really pretty blue color a little stand for the miniatures that looks like sand and then there's seashells around it I think they're so cute if you plan on doing like a nautical type of theme in your home and you have a tear tray I feel like these would look so beautiful on a tear tray they also have little miniature um, fairy garden figures to go with them so there's just different ones you can choose from but I got this one that has a pack that has sandals a little bowie is that what it's called buoy bowie and then a, a surfboard and then there's another one that has little miniature uh, seashells highly recommend checking out that section they also have these um, more colorful beach ones but those ones I passed on most of what they had. The last item I have to share with you guys comes from the organizational department of Dollar Tree. This is an item they carry pretty much every single year multiple times throughout the year but they don't always have it. They're restocking right now with this color and it is the white bins the white storage pieces i got the bins i got the buckets i love these things so much because the color mainly i feel like white you can't go wrong doesn't matter the type of decor you have and when it's white it's just that clean look and i love to use this to organize 
all around my home. I recently used some of these inside of my linen closet. I used the Dollar Tree chalkboard stickers and everything looks so nice inside of my closet. And I spent less on all of the bins that I used at Dollar Tree versus if I went to like Burlington and I got one bin. And Burlington's already known for having really inexpensive storage pieces. Burlington Ross, even Marshalls, they have inexpensive storage pieces but for the price I would pay for just one I was able to um, organize my linen closet with a bunch of pieces from Dollar Tree. That is it for these Dollar Tree 2021 right now must-haves. I wish you guys luck in finding these items if you are looking for them. Dollar Tree announced recently that they were expanding all of their crafter square sections inside of their stores and honestly I feel like it's almost like a joke because the Dollar Trees I've went to that have expanded it's literally been like a section that's like four feet big so hopefully near you you got a bigger expansion and you're able to find these items or you know other items that they do carry or that they would carry them online and you'd be able to buy one because that's the most frustrating thing about Dollar Tree's website it's like okay I want a picture frame but I gotta buy a box of 30 I don't know if it's really 30 and then some items they do let you buy one of but it's rarely ever the really pretty home decor pieces that you might want anyways I'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy the video I mean I really truly hope so it's been very hard for me to film lately I tend to like to get two videos out a week and honestly since having Cooper it's been about once uh, a week because it's just extremely hard trying to balance everything right now but thank you so much for watching and sticking around for me I hope this video was um, helpful or entertaining anyways I'll see you guys next time take care bye